lighting an important part of the level design for our simulator. So we have to know different types of the lights and how we can modify them for making the best lighting for the scene. All right, in this step, we want to talk about a very important part in the unity. It's called lighting. As you can see right now, our scene already has a direction light. In fact, direction light, it is a type of the light, but it's the something like overall lighting. It look like a sun. As you can see, it is this one and it is the uh, specific icon of directional light. And uh, if you change the directional light angle, you will see it has, and all the scene will change. Something like that. And as you can see, the sky box of the our sky. Uh, has been related on the direction light angle and we can create sunrise noon and sunset and night okay and also it is the same for this one as well and for this angle it is the same okay uh, now we can remove this direction light and as you can see our scene is dark and we don't have any lighting everything is dark and black so uh, for adding uh, uh, a new direction light to our scene we need to come to the game object and we have another section it's called light we have sev uh, several lights in here direction light point light spot light and area light in this clip we want to talk about direction light point light and spot light for example right now we click on direction light as you can see we all, we have the uh, direction light in here the position of direction light it doesn't matter as you can see if I change the position, nothing change in our uh, scene, but the angle of it is important. Let's talk about the component, the lighting in uh, the inspector once we click on direction light. Uh, we have light component and it has type. As you can see, we can change the direction light to point light, spot or area. We don't change it in here. And we have a color parameter. Uh, the default color of this direction light or that sun is gray, something. No, it's white, sorry. Uh, we can change the light and add any light or uh, hexadecimal uh, color code in here. For example, we can create a very hot noon or we can create a very beautiful sunset or very dramatic scene as a look like the freezing area or I don't know it is something like uh, size to fly or aliens seen in our in our area yeah we can create any uh, atmosphere for our scene with the colors lighting or it's black okay keep it on the uh, white in here we have two modes a uh, three modes uh, real time mix it and bake it uh, it is for uh, a specific point of the uh, light baking and uh, uh, calculating the lights and shadows in our scene uh, i don't want to talk about this part uh, right now maybe in the future we will talk about it and in here we have intensity in fact it is the in intensity of light lights photons in our scene for example 
we can decrease the diversity of it or increase it something like this also I need to say we can have uh, several direction light in one scene for example uh, this one for this angle and we have another one that's two uh, sorry keep the name of one and in decrease the zero, uh, one to 0 0.5 and in here decrease to 0 0.5 but the directional light of number two must be in here and change the color and angle to this one so we will have a great lighting without any shadows in here and also we can change the color of directional light too in here you can see we have the different light a different color for directional light too okay uh, right now we want to talk about another uh, parameter in the light component and it's called shadow right now we have no shadows in our directional lights but we cannot see any uh, shadows in our scene but once we select the no shadow to hard shadow or soft shadow of one of these direction lights we will have shadows in our scene but uh, the difference between hard shadows and soft shadows uh, will be in the uh, quality of shadows of the objects we select on hard shadows as you can see it is the Uh, shadows of trees some objects uh, already have uh, shadows and some objects not it depends on the settings of that objects and the mesh renderer of them and we will talk about this uh, parameter how we can uh, check on the shadow for one object and how we can disable it for another object and in here we have a lot of shadows but it's take uh, a huge part of our performance so I uh, it's better for optimization to change the shadow type from hard to soft as you can see they are very smoother than a uh, hard shadow however in here we can uh, change the parameters of real-time shadows for example low resolution medium and very high but I think the medium is good uh, for us I don't want to enter to these ones perfect also we can add some shadows for another directional light so we will have two different shadows of our object one for direction light one and second for direction light two perfect uh, another parameter is cookie and flare they are very uh, beautiful effects for which we want to uh, once we want to add some uh, sun shines to the position of this uh, our direction light as a star or as a, the sun uh, we can add them to these parameters right now I don't have it but so I cannot show uh, perhaps no I have not uh, these ones uh, and in here uh, we can change the render mode to uh, auto important or not important it is another parameter for uh, light baking and in the calling mask we can say okay uh, the sun and the lights of it and uh, the direction light and the lights of it uh, will work on all the objects in our scene and they in fact in the calling mask we can say okay direction light will not work on uh, I don't know for example 
um, water. It will work for everything except water. So we can change the train layer from default to water. And as you can see, the lights uh, the direction light one will not work for train. It is the light of direction light two. The direction light one it's only work uh, works for other objects except our train because we say hey, it is uh, not works for water and our train layer is water. If we change it to default, it will work for it. Perfect. It is the overall and simple things about the uh, direction light. Let's to talk about another type of lights. It's called uh, point light. Uh, let me to change the direction lights and here change the color oh yeah let's keep it perfect and it is our point light as you can see it is the range of the light and also uh, the inf uh, important variables of this one in here we can change the range as you can see it is right now it's much more efficient and also we can change the range from here as well for better editation modification and also it already has the color look like the direction light we can change it to red or something else I don't know for now red is perfect for better understanding and also it has intensity something like this for example we want to add some fires in here so it is the color of fire uh, and also point lights can have uh, shadows as well look like a direction light look at this this part is the shadows of this point light and if we add some uh, animations or movement system to our point light or even the point light is attached to our object as a child so the shadows will move perfect another thing of the point lights it is and they are exactly look like the direction light for example calling mask and flare and cookie they are the same only thing is the range of this uh, lighting actually Another important light is spotlight. A spotlight is a look like the spot. Flashlights of the mobile. It only works in this range. Not here, not here, not here, not here. Only in this circle. I'm decree increasing the intensity. Look at this. If I move it to here, I change it's better understanding. Perfect. If I change the range, okay, and it has a uh, color as well. Um, for example. I don't know, uh, blue, and also you can add shadows. It is the shadow of our spotlight, and also we can add, change the rotation. 
Perfect. I think it is enough for uh, about the lighting. Uh, let's go to the next step.